During the National Assembly's regular session held today under the chairmanship of Speaker Mosuk Ali Ghanem, the newly appointed members of the Parliament and the reshuffled Cabinet took the constitutional oath before the Assembly to assume their posts according to Article No. 91 of the Constitution. The Cabinet members who took the oath were the Deputy Premier and Minister of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Abdel Mahsin Al Madej, the Minister of Education and Minister of Higher Education, Ahmed Abdel Mahsin Al Mlefi, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ali Al Abedi, the Minister of Justice and Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs, Naif Al Ajmi, the Minister of Social Affairs and Labour and Minister of State for Planning and Development Affairs, Hind Al Sabih, and the Minister of State for Plan for Housing Affairs, Yasser Abul. MPs Abdul Hamid Deshti and Nabil Al Fadl also took the constitutional oath following their reinstatement as members of parliament after cons the constitutional court invalidated the memberships of Dr. Masoom Al Mbarak and Usama Al Tahus. Meanwhile, the National Assembly elected and named a number of MPs to serve in parliamentary committees. Dr. Abdul Hamid Deshti was unanimously elected as member of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, MPs Nabil Al Fadl and Mohammed Tana as members of the Public Facilities Committee, and MP Abdullah Treji was elected for the Budget and Final Accounts Committee. Furthermore, the Parliament elected Hamad Al Harshani as member of the committee tasked with suspicious huge assets, while MPs Dr. Abdul Hamid Deshti and Nabil Al Fadl were unanimously elected as members of the committee charged with preparing response to the Amiri speech. The National Assembly then approved and referred to the government 15 draft laws concerning agreements between the State of Kuwait and various countries and international organizations.